So I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of the, the garden. Um, been here probably eight years now in the house, so we've done quite a bit. Trying to grow a bit of veg, as well as do normal gardening and have places to, to sit and eat like everyone else. So I'll just quickly show you around. Just walking down the garden, put the, the pebbles down, made it look quite nice. So when we first moved in, um, the chap who had it before was a chap called Dickie. He was a very keen veg gardener. And one side of the garden was laid to veg totally. There's no way I could keep that going, so decided to um, get some drugs and have a go that way. There's only two of us in the house now, so we don't need a lot. Um, these are just cages I built to try and keep the squirrels out. I've done a little video to show you how I did that if you're interested. Probably worth having a look. Not hard to do and not expensive to do. So hopefully now we're squirrel proof. So that's my trugs down there. Got some potatoes in pots. I only put those in a week ago. Um, this was here when we moved in. Um, we call it Dicky Squirrel. Try to keep it going. It's okay. So back of the trucks down the garden. Got some rhubarb put in this year. Just trying to um, combine veg growing with normal gardening, really. So we've done okay this year. We've had a big, big move in the garden. Put some slate down. Got a couple of bird boxes <clears throat> in the garden. I'm laying on one down here. If I'm quiet, you can probably hear them. Quite fun watching them in and out. Got a nice Acer, repotted that this year. That's looking healthy, looking really good. Lucky to have a little bit of a patch at the back, some big conifers, apart from the, the pigeons. And just moving around, a bit of a patio area I built. Use a couple of chimney pots for planters, they work quite nicely. And then just a bed we put in this year. This is extra this year, I've put in a little bit of a frame there to protect the plants. Got a couple of courgettes growing um, just above the apple tree. That produces quite well for us. Thinking of covering that though, because it's going to get cold. Um, some sweet peas I put in here. Oh, I used that last year for tomatoes, that didn't work very well, so scrap that idea. Put sweet peas in instead. Now these little beaches, these are, this is a peony. And there was that one, and this one. When we moved in, it was absolutely gorgeous. And I moved them last year, and I was really concerned they was going to die. But luckily, they've come back. Which is great news. So I built myself another little bed here. Got a few things growing in there. Again, we've, we've got a dog, so we have to um, protect everything. Then we're not in water in the plants for me. And in here, we've got a couple of tomato plants. Come on really well this year. Started them off in the conservatory. Now they're outside, cover them up every night. And they seem to be doing okay. That's really a quick tour of my little garden, really. Done quite a lot this year, quite pleased with it. Um, I did a little video of building the, this little greenhouse. It's worked okay, quite pleased with that. And, uh, yeah. Just trying to combine a bit of veg growing with um, living, really. It's working quite well. Enjoyed doing it. Getting enough produce for two of us. So yeah, there you go. Still with the garden. If you fancy doing a tour of your garden, just do a video. It's dead easy. Get your phone, have a go. Keep it landscape and send it in to Kitchen Garden. I'm sure they'll pop it online. It'll be good to see what you're doing. Thanks for watching.